Hey, happy Friday, you guys, guys and gals. It is newsletter time. So first and foremost, let me apologize. My original plan was to do a coffee and questions yesterday, a day late than Wednesday. Wednesday, as many of you know, we had our first annual, well, we hope it's annual, but we had our first seminar and it, was, it went fantastic. But my plan was that you heard on Monday is that we would do a coffee and questions on Thursday because Wednesday we had about 12 hours of stuff to do. Um, it didn't work out. Uh, we just, there was just so much um, that we were behind. So Thursday we didn't get a chance to do it. So it is now like middle of the day Friday. That's actually Friday afternoon. So you guys probably won't see this till the wee hours of the morning or late, late, late on Friday night. So let me apologize that we didn't get something done on Thursday, but this will post on Friday, hopefully, um, if YouTube is working at the time. Okay, so uh, in regards to the seminar, fantastic, had a, uh, just a blast. It was so much fun, very successful. Everybody seemed to have fun, so I want to publicly thank the attendees for people that were here. So help me go through them. Um, go Bruce ahead. Peter. Bruce Peter. Kent Holzer. Kent Holzer. Sandy Richard. Sandy Richard. Phyllis Traverse. Traverser, I think. Okay. I <laughs> Sorry, think. Phyllis. Sorry, Phyllis. <laughs> um, Ed Dolan. Ed Dolan. Paul Green. Paul Green. And, Patrick uh, Colglazer. Patrick Colglazer and Patrick and Johnson. Patrick Johnson. Uh, phenomenal group, had so much fun. The interaction with everybody was phenomenal. The interaction with uh, what we did and making sawdust, and there's, you guys can't see it, but there's sawdust everywhere here. So we had so much fun. So, um, and in regards to that, we're gonna be making announcements. We got two more seminars, one a week from tomorrow, on the 15th and then on the 18th, uh, a week from Wednesday, I guess. Tuesday. Tuesday. It's on a Tuesday? Okay, the 15th and 18th, I know that, of this month, coming up in the next nine, 10, 12 days, something like that. And we're gonna make an announcement at the end, as soon as we're done with our little demo here, we're gonna make an announcement in regards to that. So, um, that's it, I think. You're gonna put a little thing on the end, are you? Yeah, oh yeah, and, and for you, those of you that want to know, are you going to get to see some of the seminar, I'm going to put a little clip, we've got clips that went all through the seminar, I'm going to put a clip on the end of this video as well, so you guys will get to see that. So uh, stick with us, and we'll get into the demo. Oh, we're all, <laughs> Chael, say hi to everybody. This, everybody, this is Chael, come here, come on. That a boy, yes, he's a good dog. So he's kind of the, the mascot since we're on my buddy's, uh, my buddy John's property, this is uh, Chael. He's kind of the guard dog, uh, pussycat kind of thing, but uh, he's a cool dog. So everybody that was here got to meet him and kind of interact with him a little bit. But he's uh, a good, good guy. <laughs> All right. All right, Chael, I got to work, man. I got to work. All right, so let's get into this demo. Here's what I want to do, guys. This is going to be about edging or about borders, not edging but borders. So I'm gonna show you guys some borders that uh, are pretty common for me. Some of them not as common as others. Um, the border that I do probably most of is, uh, oh man, I got these out of order. It's probably this one, which is pretty much just rounded corners on a square or a rectangle. And uh, this is a, these are all signs that I made in the past. Um, so this is um, rounded corners, and I round up corners, uh, I've got a video on that, um, and I'll tell you what that video is here in a second. But I've got a video on the rounded corners, and this is just a 45 degree bevel. Many times I get the question is, uh, what radius do you use when you're um, doing a round over? I hardly ever do that, guys. In fact, I don't even know where my round over bit is. I almost always do a bevel or a chamfer. So that's what I do more than anything else. Um, and uh, the video that, that kind of does, goes over the round, uh, how to round those corners is number 56, uh, newsletter number 56. So, um, secondly, this is dad's favorite edge, which is scallops. 
And you guys, if you guys want to see uh, how to do the scallops, um, there's actually a playlist on, and that's called How to Do Edges. That's a playlist when you go to my channel, look at, at all the different playlists. I think there's like eight or ten of them. And there's one that's called How to Do Edges. And uh, scalloping is in there. We've done several different videos on scalloping. So that's my dad's favorite. I like it, but eh, I like the, the bevel better. Now here's a combination of uh, the bevel and notched corners. This is a collaboration that I did uh, actually not too long ago. Great channel, by the way. Um, so this is actually like the bevel, but instead of rounded corners, it's got the notched corners. Again, the video in how to do edges uh, is the um, look at the playlist for how to do edges, and it'll show you how to notch those corners. Uh, now, a com another combination is notched corners and scallops. So here's another uh, um, combination of edging, So which I don't do a lot of. But uh, it looks pretty cool. I kind of like it. Somebody asked me if I could do that, and uh, this was a whole bunch of um, one of my regular customers that order stall signs for their horses uh, on a regular basis. So that's another edge. Another one is uh, kind of a rustic edge with an angle grinder, and this was one of, I've showed this before, but many of you may have not, not have seen it because we've got so many videos. But this was actually for a golf course and one of those really deep bunkers. And they put this, mounted this on post and put them at the bottom of the bunker. That look all right? Mm -hmm. So this is basically just a, a square with rounded corners uh, and an angle grind. And then it has kind of a rustic sand to it where I didn't take all the black off. But that's another, that's another subject altogether. So then, and then a, another uh, version of that is a rustic edge with a free form. So I, I literally just, it's not completely rectangle, but it's free formed. And I did that with, um, if you go back and look at the video that I think was an LTS, well, that might have been a newsletter too, I can't remember, but it, was, it had to do with uh, the Nook and Ridge sign. You can see that I actually, this was a long sign. This was six foot long, I think five or six foot long, and I actually did that free form with a sawzall, and you can, see, you can see that. But what I want to do today is I want to do an edging that you guys haven't seen before. Um, it's none of these. So it's, uh, well, you guys actually, you might have seen on a picture of a sign that I did, you might have seen it, but I've never actually done it on camera before, so I want to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is this is a piece of our cedar fencing that I've cut into a ribbon. And if you guys want to see how to actually shape that, how we do that, that would be on video. I, I lost my, uh, uh, oh yeah, there's a playlist. There's another playlist with a bunch of videos on how to cut shapes with, uh, with your router. Uh, so look for the playlist that says template, okay? So that is that. So uh, there's a, uh, actually a bunch of them. Dad normally does that. So here's the first thing I'm going to do. I've got my sanding board set up and I need to surface this. I'm not going to really make a sign, but I'm going to put an edge, a border on this. That, uh, again, that's where the, the main focus behind this. So uh, bear with me a minute. I'm going to, I'm going to surface this board. <laughs> So now I've surfaced that. Does that look all right? You there? Uh, I've surfaced that basically, and when I do that, guys, on the surface of the board, I just go with the grain. I just used an 80 
Sometimes I'll use a 40 for that, but I just used an 80 for that. So uh, what we're going to do is um, we'll be back in just a second and we'll, we'll put that border on there. So we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so I've kind of cleared away the sanding board. I've got the, my, uh, my ribbon shape. This is my uh, uh, 5 by 23 ribbon shape. So now what I'm going to do, normally how I would edge this, the edge that I would, or border that I would do, would be a, a deep chamfer, a deep bevel. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this, but I'm going to say, ah, we're going to come in about that far, and I'm going to make a line. I'm going to try and keep that line consistent going all the way around. The cool thing about this, guys, is that, uh, you know what, these are freehand signs, so these are not, uh, these are not CNC, so, but I do still want to try and keep it as, as uniform as I can. I probably should have practiced this before before I actually started filming and making a film, but I guess you guys that have been watching for a while are probably kind of used to the fact that uh, sometimes I just kind of wing it. Are you still able to stay with me, babe? I think so. Okay. So there, we have a line all the way around. And again, you can pick how thick or how thin you want that to be. This is just what I picked. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, we're going to, we're going to set up and we'll come back and I'll show you what I do with that line. So we'll be right back. Go. Okay, folks. So we're back and, and, um, so we've got our line on here. I want to show you something that I just, uh, I actually, I kind of picked these up for the, the seminar and I got uh, quite a few of them. We are in the seminar venue, by the way, guys. Uh, this is uh, our little our place where we're doing the seminars. But this little light is a uh, little desk lamp. is really cool. You can just put it in pretty much whatever position you want. Um, so I really like it. We used it a lot during the seminars. And uh, we got two or three versions of them. But this, uh, this thing is really cool. I think I picked it up for like seven or eight bucks at Walmart. So uh, it's a pretty neat little lamp. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use my uh, 90 degree, uh, we didn't talk about this, babe, sorry, but my 90 degree V groove, um, just my standard, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here for a border. So uh, you ready, babe? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's hope Chael doesn't jump in my lap.
So what I'm going to do here, guys, is I'll go ahead and uh, we'll shut the camera off, and I'm going to spray this and, and uh, sand it off, and you guys can see uh, kind of how it comes out, so I'll leave half of it. I, I'll probably bring this clear up, uh, up here off camera and come back and uh, spray and sand this off off camera so you guys and then I'll sand it uh, when we're back on camera you guys can see how it uh, how it looks um, yeah we'll be right back okay folks so we've got this sprayed it's all dried so now what I'm going to do is sand this off just to kind of give you an idea and I'll, I'm going to uh, show you a picture of one that I did uh, that turned out pretty cool so let's get this done <laughs> Normally I'd use my blower, but I don't have it with me. So, so that uh, gives you an idea. Now I just did this. I just did this, guys, as kind of a uh, just a, an example. You can do this on any size board. If I was doing a board that was maybe inset or small outset letters, obviously you're taking a lot of uh, a lot of your width away. But it does give kind of a cool effect. I really. Uh, I kind of like it. I think I'm going to do more more stuff like this. Here's one that I did, uh, I don't know, last year, I think. And I might have showed this on camera. But this was, I think this was about 14 or 15 by 17 or 18 wide or, or long. And it gives really kind of an interesting effect. So that gives you uh, just kind of an option that you can do. Give it a try, see if you like it. Now a variation you can do, if you don't like the rough background, some guys like flat bottoms, so you could do it. Huh? Look at mine. Oh, oh, you're on me, I didn't know. I thought you were still down there. <laughs> uh, you could do a flat bottom if you wanted to, or you could do any variation of uh, like the dimple effect. This is just my kind of my standard background, but you can do all different kinds of uh, different things with this. Uh, this border, but it's actually kind of cool. I kind of like it. Um, it's different. So anyway, I hope that uh, that helps. Oh, by the way, the black that I used here for you new people that that don't know, I only use two things as far as my spray black. I use the Marsh ink, which is a little bit more expensive, a little tougher to find, or I use the Rust Oleum primer only, not paint, but primer. This stuff you can get at Walmart. So these are the only two that I use, and uh, there's lots of reasons why. Most of you already know, because it doesn't bleed into the board, and it's, it sands off well. So I really like the primer. It's almost identical to uh, how the ink works. So uh, for years, the ink is all I'd use. Okay, so that's enough of that. We'll be right back and make the announcement, so stick with us. Okay. Well, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, that's kind of a different kind of edging slash border that I, I've never really done on camera before, but it, I think I made you more of those. It was kind of cool. I like the way it looks, especially on a little bit bigger signs. Maybe some of my collaborations and stuff that are coming up. Um, anyway, so uh, as we said, this is, gives you kind of an idea of the venue of where the, the seminars are. Uh, the one that we did. We've got two seminars coming up. We've got one on the 15th. That one is full. But the one on the 18th, the announcement we want to make, we actually have two openings. Now, you guys know that we've been watching for a while. We shut down the, uh, the registrations at the end of August. Um, and, but now we have two openings on the 18th, uh, which is a, that's a Tuesday. That's a Tuesday. Okay, the 18th, October 18th is a Tuesday. So we have that open if you, any, and I, it's only like, you know, a week from Tuesday coming up. So it's only like 10 days away. So maybe, yeah, maybe you guys can drive in if you're local down. I've gotten several different comments from people saying, when is your next seminar? Can I come? So uh, we actually have two openings for the 18th. So if you're interested in coming, let us know, um, you know, Eric at makingwoodsign.com or Arizona Girl 1961 at Yahoo, right? Mm -hmm. 
yahoo.com. Let us know if you're interested. If you guys kind of want more information on what uh, the seminars are like, we're going to put a clip right after I'm done here. We're going to put a clip of, uh, of last uh, Wednesday's. It was two days ago of Wednesday's seminar. It was so much fun. Um, and again, thank you to all the attendees and, and all the great comments and stuff. Vicki did the Facebook Live thing. Vicki and Rachel did a couple of Facebook Live deals. Got tons of comments. So anyway, there's your opportunity, guys. If you want to join us on the 18th, come on down. We'd love to have you. Um, and uh, again, it's 50 bucks. What? There's only two. Two openings, first come, first serve. That's it. 50 bucks for an eight-hour deal. Includes lunch and free water and all the sawdust you can eat. So uh, <laughs> come and join us if you can. Uh, we're going to have a blast. So uh, here comes a scene from uh, Wednesday's seminar. I uh, hope you guys like it. And we, you'll see Dad tomorrow morning on, on uh, his Country Music Memories. And we'll be back for Coffee and Questions on, uh, on Monday. So everybody have a great weekend. And we will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.